Mike McCarthy took it on. And uh, two weeks in, I mean, he's going to be my guest on Friday's show, Tom. Uh, it's so far, so good, right? I mean, the, 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 the points are a palooza. And it seems in rhythm in the same way that we were talking about. Obviously, you got a rookie quarterback in Bryce and somebody like Dak. They look to be fully loaded right now. What do you think? Rhythm is the key word there, Rich. He nailed it because, you know, Kellen Moore is a really bright offensive mind. He's very creative. He came up, you know, playing for and coaching with Scott Linehan, who basically brought the spread offense to the NFL 20 years ago and is all about spread it out, vertical routes, get the football down the field. Well, when you talk about Dak Prescott, he's had a lot of success doing that over the course of his career. But at the same time, when you talk about interceptions, some of that comes when you're trying to push the ball down the field a lot. Mike McCarthy comes from a West Coast background, came up under Paul Hackett, Nathaniel's dad um, in Kansas City and San Francisco, and then obviously in Green Bay. So he's all about the rhythm passing game. It's about getting easy throws for the quarterback. It's going to be slants. It's going to be getting the ball out of his hand quickly. Also getting the ball into space, getting it to the perimeter. But it's not all a vertical type of offense. When you've got a defense like the Cowboys have, you don't want to call it ball control because I think people think that means running it 50 times. When you simply just don't give the football away and you get your quarterback in rhythm, that's going to give you the opportunity then to just control the game, let your defense rest a little bit, and then come out there and do what we've seen them do. I don't know that we've seen Dak Prescott have to put up a lot of points so far this season based upon who they've played and the style of games, and that probably doesn't change this week either. But this style of football is what Dallas is built to do. You know, so on a personal level, I'm happy for Mike just because I know how excited he is, how much he loves calling plays. This is a big part of what he's done. He told me years ago that, uh, you know, after one year, he gave it up um, to one of his assistants, Tom Clements, and then took it back in December. And he told me that following year, I'm never giving play calling up again hmm. in a different spot in Dallas because Kellen Moore was there. Obviously, the Jones family loves Kellen. Dak was comfortable with him. And Mike, to his credit, said, you know what? I'm going to try to embrace this. Well, a few years later now, he goes, all right. It made sense for everybody to move on. Kellen had a great opportunity with the Chargers. Mike had the opportunity to do something that he loves. And finally, I was asking about this, Rich. He, even last year, in the past couple of years, was still showing up like seven hours early to the stadium. I'd be in Dallas getting there, you know, on your show game day morning, five hours before. Mike would be like, you here yet? He'd come out and see me. <laughs> he's, he's got nothing to do because he was just in there. He'd normally be yeah. in this play calling sheet together. Now he's actually got things to do yeah. uh, when he's at the stadium. So he's excited about it. And the Cowboys... I mean, to me, they look like one of the most dangerous teams in the NFL, right? Yeah, taking on the Arizona Cardinals in week three. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.